Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today it's Excel and we're looking at 2D conformal transformation or the four parameter transformation. This involves translation, scaling and rotation as per the first slide. Uh, and we have little examples of what a translation, a scaling and rotation is. I suspect everybody looking at this uh, YouTube tutorial will know what they are by now. Uh, your lecturer would probably have put up something that's remarkably similar to here. Okay, so we're just getting uh, the new coordinates uh, are calculable, or you are derived from the old coordinates here by here, where a is s cos alpha, b is s sine alpha, etc., and c and d are the translations. Uh, for the X and Y and it's a bit hard to see so but this here this this here is that guy there okay it looks a little funny so trying to slow down X naught by A Y naught by B plus C, that's plus the translation C, and no translation for the Y. Here, uh, Y naught by A, minus uh, X naught by B, no translation for the X, and one translation for the D. We have an example here. We mentioned that we need a minimum of two pairs of points. So, we have the X O Y O is 10 10 and the new points after the conformal transformation is uh, 350 190 and for point 2 the old points were X were X 80 60 and the new points are 250 300 we wrote that in a matrix format here and on the next slide we want to work out what the four parameters are a B and the translation for the X and the translation for Y so we have it in PowerPoint there. We got the inverse of the matrix by the uh, X naught, Y naught for both points here. Minus point two oh three is S cos alpha and that's S sine alpha. That's the translation for the X and that's the translation for the Y. And then if we want to say, okay, if we have the old values of one twenty one or the original, which are we want to look at one twenty one point four eight and twenty two point seven eight, what are the corresponding Y values there? We form the matrix by there the original points here plus the translation and we work it out to be 305.46 and 378.7332. Okay, how did I do that in Excel? So we form the matrix, uh, that's just from the PowerPoint slide, and there's the original values rows 16, 17, 18, and 19. I want to get the inverse and multiply the inverse of this lad and I want to multiply it by this lad here. So how do I, I have it there, but how do I get the inverse? So I just delete that, I, it, there's a, I highlight a 4x4 four four area, equal, equal M-I-N-V-E-R-S-E, -E, round the bracket, control shift enter, so there's the inverse. I just delete this. Now I want to work out what the four parameters are. That's that matrix by that matrix. That's a four by four. That's a four by one. And a four by four by a four by one is multipliable in matrix terms and the result is a four by one. I have the four by one here. I say equal M M U L T I mouse just going on me a little. I like that. Comma. Close bracket. Finger on control. Finger on shift. Finger on enter. So, S cos alpha is minus point two oh three. S sine alpha is one point minus one point seven one six. And the translation for the x and the translation for the y is three sixty nine and one seventy four point nine. As on the PowerPoint slide there, I just put in some new values there just to check you know, what would be the transformed point 121.48 and 22.78 and I got 
the values there. Uh, I left out on this line just uh, there's an mm mult. I didn't actually delete and do it again, but I think if you saw it once, you should be able to do it twice. And then I want to work out what the actual scale and what the rotation is. So the scale is the square root of a squared plus b squared, and t says tan inverse of b over a. So b over a is minus 1.716 divided by mi minus point uh, 2020, wherever that is, just to go remind you again, uh, these guys, so it's that over that. And that over that is uh, 8.467. How do I get tan inverse? Equal a tan. So it's 1.453 rads. I converted that to decimal degrees by using the XL function equal degrees. And then I got the scale, and the scale is the square root of uh, a squared plus b squared which is the square root of d58 squared and c58 squared, and I got 1.728. Okay, so thanks very much for listening. Hope it helps a little bit.